Hey, I'm here with my friend Pat Daly. What's going on? A while ago, he embarked on, a, on a, the journey of a lifetime uh, in a kayak from New York. The destination was Mexico. Where'd you get? South Carolina? Uh, yeah, so it started in New York City. The idea was to go from New York City to Mexico via the Intracoastal Waterway down the East Coast through Florida and then around the Gulf. Uh, but I got, I did New York City to Georgia. So 800 miles in four months through nine states, I think. And uh, I didn't get to my final destination for various reasons, but um, still, a, still an a incredible wild, feat, yeah. right? Um, yeah, it's, all it's of amazing. those states. And here's the thing, like I think that I uh, that I really think is awesome about what you did in the end, especially, was a constant process of reevaluating. I think we can start on a path and then just like keep going on the path because we're not continually asking like should I be doing this or am I moving in the right direction what was that process of evaluation like for you and was it easy or hard it was that was the hardest part of the trip was I knew that by the time I crossed the North Carolina border I was like okay I'm just gonna go to Florida like and I'm gonna end it at Florida there we go <laughs> We were, we were waiting for that guy to leave before we filmed, but we were like, screw it. Those guys. <laughs> um, we're right on the side of the it's road. It's so quiet now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, we got to keep going now. Um, so yeah, I was like, okay, I'll go to Florida. I know I, did, I don't want to do this and for that long, and I'll be satisfied if I get to Florida. And then um, things happened. Just, it got really cold due to poor planning. I left late, <laughs> too late. Um, I hit my head. Oh. Random things were happening where it was just like, it was like, man, here's another thing. And the journey was becoming not enjoyable anymore. It was taking a toll on my mental state, my physical state. Um, but I also had a lot of people following along, literally live. Like I had a GPS tracker that was live to a website. Um, so I had a lot of people counting on me. So that was what kept me going even mm. further from that. But at I ended up in Savannah, Georgia in a hotel and I just like was like dude I can't go anymore like I feel like there's so many questions I could ask you like so I'm, yeah. I'm throwing away my question asking you this one so yeah. you just mentioned like people's expectations yeah um, I think we do a lot of stuff because of what we think people expect of us what was that process like of you having to deal with that internally mm -hmm. when you made this decision well, it was all it was that and it was also because I made the decision myself I think a lot of people deal with expectations where they have their parents or something or they're they've kind of dictated their path like the parents or some external for the expectations has dic have dictated their path but in this case I dictated my own path I said New York to Mexico I printed out the t-shirts and we're selling them you know I made the videos online um, and I had these people counting on me. So it was it was an in-between thing. I had expectations of other people on my shoulders, but also, you know, the decision that I made and expectations of myself, like, you know, proving to myself that I would do something cool, so. Um, and, and you decided to quit this one endeavor, but I imagine that you probably were able to eventually at least come to a place where you saw that one endeavor in the context of a broader picture and you were able to bring experiences and lessons from that experience into this broader picture of your life. What do you think is like the broader picture of what you're doing and what you were able to like bring out of that experience into your life now? Yeah, it was the broader picture was, you know, I started the, the trip to test, you know, challenge myself and I think the human body and the human spirit is capable of like 10 times more than what we actually think it is. And you never know that until you actually go out and test yourself. So that was a big uh, starting point for the journey. The broader sense of it and what I learned, you know, um, I knew people along the way would be helping me all the way because I'd been on journeys. I hitchhiked across the states where I got 50 rides from people who were all amazing. I knew that would happen, so that wasn't, and that did happen on this journey as well, but didn't so much surprise me. Um, if anything, it was like, you know, I, I was staying outside, I was roughing it in the woods um, with very little, 
very little. Everything I owned at that point was in my canoe. Uh, and it gave me this really big appreciation for what we do have. And it was, it, these trips are almost like a rite of passage too. It's like in our modern age, we don't really have, you know, we, there's bar mitzvahs and stuff, but we don't really have um, like a rite of passage for young men or young women so much uh, where it's like, I did this and now I'm a man, or I did this and now uh, I know that I can do a lot more. So that was a big thing too. It was just like, this was a big rite of passage. It made me appreciate what I have and uh, it surprised me in what I could do. Cool, man. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, man. Thanks. See ya.